Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're talking about Drag Gan. This is a game-changing tool developed by the researchers from Google, the Max Planck Institute of Informatics, it's a cool name, and even MIT. And let me tell you, not only is this a game-changer, I think this is going to end Adobe's run at the top. Straight up, I think Photoshop is in a world of hurt and that the Adobe executives got called in over the weekend to come in and talk about this because this is absolutely crazy. And I know that's a big statement, but look at the video behind me. This is absolutely nuts. All right, so what does it mean? Dragan stands for Drag Generative Adversarial Networks. That is a mouthful. Essentially, it's billed as a revolutionary image editing model that allows users to intuitively edit images by dragging points on them. If you look at the video running behind me, you can see how it does that with the red and the blue points and how you drag them apart, drag them in, etc. One of the cool things about Dragan is that it uses a pre-trained GAN, which again is a generative adversarial network, whatever that means. <laughs> and it basically creates images that stay within the realm of realistic visuals. So basically you can't go too far out of bounds. It's not gonna look like an 80s horror film and just get all crazy on you. Uh, it basically means that edits are will look natural and realistic, even if they are significantly different from the original images. Yeah, this is crazy stuff, guys. Apparently the two components are trained together in a process called adversarial training, which kind of sounds like every relationship I've ever been in, but whatever. The generator basically tries to create images that are so realistic that the discriminator, and discrimination's bad, except in GANs apparently, but the discriminator can't tell them apart from real images. And as they're trained, both become better at their tasks until the generator can create images the discriminator can't distinguish from real ones. Wow, what a mouthful. Again, I don't pretend to know the technical details that go into that. The link to the full technical paper is in the description below. Apparently next, once, the, once they're trained, the generator can be used to edit images by dragging points on them. That's very clear, you can see that in the videos. When a user drags a point on an image, the generator uses it to create a new image similar to the original, but with the desired edits. I mean, all in all guys, this is just unbelievable. Like I could keep talking about stuff, but just watch the video. Look at what this can do. This seriously could be the end of Adobe. I mean, I don't wanna, you know, presume that they're in trouble, but it, with these types of tools and you see tools like ClipChamp for video editing and DaVinci Resolve, Photopea for image, you know, for image editing and a variety of other tools, you know, combine that with ChatGPT and all these other, you know, mid journeys and dollies and stable diffusions. Hey, Adobe's in a lot of trouble. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.